Hello everyone, Crow back again with another gameplay video. We're going to switch things up a bit and play a Famicom game. A game I actually got quite recently and I'm kind of itching to play it. I really have only played it for about five minutes just to test out the cartridge before making this video. But that game is uh, Splatterhouse when Paku Graffiti. Now, I don't know if the name is just Wampaku Graffiti or Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti, but this is more of, it's not really a port of Splatterhouse for the Famicom or slash NES, but um, it's like they realized that the NES couldn't really handle the arcade version of Splatterhouse, so they kind of made it into a uh, completely different type of game entirely, you know, just vaguely similar with uh, the similar characters and everything, but done in a very uh, cutesy way, as it were. And it's funny because every so often I was I would think about the Splatterhouse ter series and think about the games I have and didn't have. And I always would, you know, uh, when I found out about this game, I really didn't have a way to play um, Famicom games. So, I um, and if you wonder, I'm, I'm having a cough drop because I've been coughing a lot recently just be i'm getting over something i had and uh this cough is the last remnants of it so hopefully i don't cough too much but um yes uh this um uh, wampaku graffiti i would see it and say oh i wish i could play that and uh last time i thought of you know that i was like wait a minute i can't play it i made that famicom adapter and it, what's funny is i got it in my um any uh the toaster model nes and it doesn't really fit in there. I've got it jammed in there because with the adapter and the cartridge being a bigger size, um, it doesn't even push down all the way. I've got it kind of jammed in there to work, but it works. So let's uh, let's stop rambling and turn this on. And we got start password. Let's just uh, start. Well, there's you know, I don't know if that this. I don't know if that just says Wampaku Graffiti or if that says Splatterhouse Wampaku Graffiti. I'm pretty sure it says. Splatterhouse. I don't know. Anyway, let's skip that because we're going to start out with that scene anyway. I don't really remember uh, Rick's girl's name at the moment, but apparently Rick is dead. Lightning comes. He comes back to life. And um, he's already wearing the mask. And she's happy about that. So maybe this is like a side story. I don't know. And, oh look at that. It's the Great Pumpkin. And the great pumpkin takes his girl away. And uh, what's what's kind of uh, <laughs> funny about that is that Rick kind of looks like Charlie Brown. Uh, you know, the way the shape of his head and everything is in, in uh, relative proportion to his body. So I'm going to say that is the great pumpkin that took away his girl. And uh, apparently this will be your grave. Ha ha ha. Which is okay because it looks like it's a graveyard, which is an appropriate spot for your grave to be. So, uh, Rick already has the cleaver. I don't know if this is the only weapon you have in the game, but it plays a lot more like, um, just a platforming side-scroller than it does the original Splatterhouse. Whoop! And here's the problem. The main problem I have with this game, ooh, is that Rick is very hard to control. He slides. He, he doesn't just stop when you let go. He, uh, he kind of slides a bit. But, from what i played so far, that's the only issue I'm having with the game. Ooh, I missed that candy? Yeah, yeah, the enemies give you candy. Which is something you wouldn't expect from a Splatterhouse game. And, oh, look, crosses trying to kill me. Well, that gave me some health. Okay, I got some, yeah, I must have dropped the candy. The, he the heads of the dogs come back to kill you. Pink dogs. Maybe they're made of cotton candy or something. Whoop. So it looks like it's worth it to kill everything you can just to see if they'll drop some uh, health or something. There's some more candy. Now this might be the first stage boss and this is about as far as I made it. But here's what's funny, is that these little guys, they give you a show before they attack you. Now, that's that looks like it's Dracula with some swamp things. But the funny thing about this Dracula is he looks like Dracu Dracula Man from Dragon Ball. And if you've seen the original Dragon Ball series, you'll know what I'm talking about. The, the color of his skin and his size 
He looks like the kickboxing Dracula, man. So it looks like their little show is over. Whoop, shoot. And uh, the Dracula guy just likes to shoot while he lets the other guys do his dirty work. So let's try and dodge all this sock. Uh, just stay on the opposite side of... Oh, crap. Oh, they killed me. And guess what? Game over. <laughs> you don't get to start back where he started. So um, if we continue, we start the level again, I think. So let's not suck it like we did just then. Let's actually try and uh, do this a little bit better. The hit detection is uh, not on, but for that's a good thing because it looks like I can swing and like not even hit him at all, and it'll hit the uh, thing. So there's a lot of forgiveness there. No cheap hit detection, I don't think. So yeah, it looks like we're doing a little bit better now. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. It's just the floaty control, the uh, the way that he keep, Rick keeps moving after you stop, like he's on ice or something. Do we have to watch the whole show again? Well, look at this. I got to this part at least where I am not, uh, I haven't gotten hit so far, so I sh hopefully I should be able to beat this. I don't know what that 4 out of 20 at the top of the screen means. If you do play this level a lot, I can see where them just dancing would get annoying. Come on, just attack me. I don't have time for this <laughs> type of deal. All right. Ooh, I'm starting to get hit a lot. So stop that. Ah! Because it's hard to get in between those attacks when I have such imprecise, um... Oh, man! No! Game over. Damn! Okay, I'm going to cut the video to the next uh, time I fight those guys. Because I want to get past that part. Okay, looks like they stopped dancing and they're gonna start attacking me. So, attack away. Maybe I need to get up to 30 of them? Maybe that's what that counter is? Damn it. Oh, shit! Oh, man! Okay, well, back to that spot again, I guess. Alright, they're gonna start attacking me again. Looks like I might need to get six more, maybe. Maybe that's what that counter is. No, I got 30, so... Maybe that's like a... I don't know what that is, then. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of a hang of this now. It's better you hit by the rocks than the green things, because our invincibility time is very short. Uh-oh, so I did something here. Oh, peace, I'm out of here! All right. Looks like we continue then. Oh, maybe that wasn't the end of the level. Don't know what was that. Oh, is that the splatter house? Finally? Alright, we're going in. So yeah, vaguely reminiscent of the first level of Splatter House now. With the spikes coming out of the floor and everything. Oh. Kind of just slipped right into there. Whoa. Is this the... This is the poltergeist room? So every 30 enemies I kill, something happens apparently. Oh, the books got me. 
Yeah, you know, next time somebody tells you reading never hurt anybody, remember this moment. Okay, I think we'll continue one more time and that'll be it. Wait a minute, more books are coming out than there actually are. Just stand over here and attack the books. <laughs> Where are all these books coming from? There's there's more books out than here than were on the shelves. All right, we got the books. Take that, Scholastic. Okay. Oh, is this another poltergeist room? So I took the poltergeist room and took it turned it into a whole new level. Oh shit, that's kind of freaky. Well, this is kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of hard too, holy shit. You know, I think that'll cover it. Uh, I'm not going to continue anymore, and I'm certainly not going to start from, again from the beginning. But there is uh, Splatter House on Paku Graffiti. It's actually a little bit harder than I thought it would be. and It's just a little bit because of the controls. But, it seems like a, a pretty okay game to me. Despite just the, the getting used to controls, having uh, Rick kind of slide a little bit left and right. Kind of a little bit of hard to, uh, to dodge some things. But I'm sure once you, know, if you play for a little bit more time, it could be quite an enjoyable game. So uh, I'll leave it at that. Thanks everyone for watching. See you all next time. Bye. And see you too, Grey Pumpkin. Hey you, the Valerians are off limits. You've never heard of the getting some clause? I was